Hello folks. Well today I'm going to talk about an alternate method for downloading software updates for Android users. Um, here we have just a regular Android Samsung phone. I got this USB-C to SD card reader. What's it called? Uni? I don't know. I got it on Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. And then we have a standard scan disk SD card. What's well, a mini to standard? 32 gig. You guys can see that. 32 is the max size I can use for Hummerbird units. And what I'm going to show is I mean, we have the one method of just going to our computer, downloading the software. Another option would be, I'll bring it up real quick, through the OneBoat Network app. Here we go. Got it right here. And then you can click on network updates, select your unit, download it, and then Bluetooth. So like, for example, we got that Helix, that Solix 15 back there. Uh, we can download it, it comes to the phone, and then we Bluetooth it. It's a good option, uh, especially for iPhone users. Uh, but to me, it just takes a bit too long. Now, but before we get into that, let me show you on the back, on the bottom of your units, you have a little sticker. All right, so when you're looking at, hey, which upload do I need? Just look right there. So that says Helix 9 MSI Plus GPS G4N. Uh, here we have a Solix 12 MSI G2. So go back over here. When I'm downloading that information, I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to bring it up right now. Hold on one second. Okay, so we go to Hummingbird's website. We got software updates. Um, so we're gonna scroll down. And now it's important that you match. Like you see Apex, there's not a lot of options. Pretty simple. Solix, you start getting into a couple more options. G3, Gen 3, Gen 2. No G means that it was Gen 1. And then Helix, you, you get into a, a ton of options. So again, look at that sticker. So now we've got Helix 10 or Helix 9, sorry, and it is a Terp Mega SI Plus GPS G4N. So that's the one that I want. So I'm going to select it. Eventually it'll get there. Okay. And so it says software version 2.8. Here's the release date. There's a whole bunch of information that's important that you need to read that nobody does. I'm going to skip right to it too. And then scroll down to the bottom and I'm just going to download the update. I got a lot of stuff in there. Follow those instructions, though. Okay, so, finally, we get to the bottom. We're just going to download the update. Boom. And it's just going to go right to my phone. So, let's go look at the details. So, 4 point, 433 megabyte. Okay, so it's done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder, and I can see in my downloads, there's the file. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this reader, put this card in here, all right? Plug it up to the bottom of my Android phone. So we see we got it right there. And then I'm just going to select it. And I'll just copy it. So it says, where do I want to copy it to? I'll go here, USB 1. And I'm just going to copy it there. Takes, doesn't really take very long. So I downloaded it to my phone internally to the download folder. And then all we're doing now is just transferring it to the USB card. Bam, it's done. So USB storage one. There's my software version 2.8 bin. So now... I can literally just take this card out and go through the process of doing the install on the Helix. So I hope you like that. I hope you found that beneficial. If so, please like and subscribe to the page. Thank you.